So here is Eagle going through medium 75. And I knew before I even went down the center line that this was gonna be a good test because he was just so with me. He felt so soft, so supple. Uh, so I was really excited to get going. So trotting around the outside of the arena, what I think to myself now is my performance statement. So I tell myself that I'm just gonna ride each movement individually and I'm gonna do it calmly with determination. And here we go. So balance felt really good there. And now I'm starting to think about the halt and trying to get him to sit back onto the hind legs a little bit more. I didn't feel like I quite had this and that's why there's one walk stride before and a slight loss in the outline, but it was a good halt and it was a good move off. So really nice balance there. He felt like he was really pushing from his hind legs and around this corner he felt really soft and supple. So now I'm just putting him into the shoulder in. And again, it's like I've mentioned before in his tests, for the higher marks, he just needs to be pushing more from behind so his shoulders can lift and he can be a little bit more expressive. So I agree with the judge on this one. It just needs to be a little bit easier to bend him around the circle. I think that's why we lost the balance and the push. Uh, Traver felt really, really good. Um, he's really soft and supple in this. So yeah, I was really happy with that. So I'm really proud of this setup for the half pass because sometimes what can happen, they can either fall in or their quarters can fall out and then you don't get that wrapping around your inside leg and that push and that suppleness. So I'm very happy with that. Just for more marks, he needs a bit more expression. And then the medium, I agree with the mark on this one. It's not his most expressive thing at the moment, but once we've taught him the passage, he'll get a little bit more reach and lift in his medium. So that's just something that'll come with time into the shoulder in. So to improve the balance in this, I always think about lifting their outside shoulder and it coming up and forwards. I can remember exactly what I was thinking going into this circle is last time I rode a left 10 meter circle, it was just a little bit too small. So I was really strict on myself for being accurate. And then the Traverse, again, he's really supple in this, which is nice. Um, so I was happy with that. Thinking about the balance around the corner, again, trying to set it up best I can camera wobbles but again yeah I'm really happy with that setup um, he is more su uh, supple to the left so that's why you got a higher mark and I think this medium trot yeah was better than the other one we just had a little bit more push so next up is the rain back and you guys be able to see that he steps sideways a little bit in it he's not quite straight so that's something that I want to work on just keep my right leg on a little bit more to improve that and whilst I have time because I'm in walk, I just want to mention that watching this test, what I really like and what I really liked when I was riding it is that he really listens to my half halt and it's not so much from my rein now. You can see it's more from my seat, which is something that I've always been striving for with him. Uh, the walk was so much better than last time I took him out and that was only a week's difference and that's because we worked on the PF and that's really helped him push more with that left hind, which was the weaker one. Um, so I'm much happier with this walk now. Also another thing that I was thinking is I try to not lean back too much in it. I actually tilt my pelvis forwards and keep my leg on. I just find that this keeps him softer. I don't know why. I don't know if that's every horse but it seems to be working for him so I'm going with it. Uh, so trying to close him up now for the walk pirouette but again I do find when we get his walk a little bit stronger uh, we'll be able to close the pirouettes up more like the judges commented on um, and make them a little bit better. It's just that I just don't feel like we've got that connection from hind leg to bit good enough yet to make them any smaller. As you can see we lost the outline a little bit there and that is just because of the lack of connection. So that transition is quite good for him because he does struggle pushing from behind from water can so I was happy with that. Now here I felt like I couldn't quite straighten him up then I managed to do it in a stride and push for a really good medium canter which is great. Uh, I was really happy with that. So really thinking about sitting him back onto the hind leg now to come into the half pass. Again as you can see the left half passes always get higher marks because he's more supple. I'm happy with that positioning, that's good. Now I do find, mindset wise, around about now I'm like, okay, it is going actually really well. And I knew that I needed to ride more engagement into that canter, but I was really scared that I was gonna kind of disturb the piece a little bit, so I didn't. And that's something I need to work on. So again, there he didn't have enough collection because I kind of had backed off slightly. Um, so the simple change wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. It is a nice problem to have though, the test's going really well and that's just something that I think it's great that I'm aware of it um, and then I think I can improve on that from now but it's kind of, 
With a dressage test, it's knowing when to take calculated risks of, can I push the horse a little bit more? So I lose the balance for stride here, um, and that's why, again, he needs more jump, and I guess I didn't push the engagement in because I didn't feel like he was quite in good enough balance, and I thought I might disturb it a little bit too much. This simple change is so much better. Um, he sits before it, and that one felt a lot smoother to me. So before the medium canter, I just have a little half halt and then I release him. I feel like that gets him to canter more uphill and on the hind leg. And here we have a canter to trot transition. Now, if you struggle to get your horse from canter to trot, a great tip is just moving your seat slightly left and right instead of following the movement back and forwards. And this just helps the horse find trot. So around about now, I feel like my confidence has returned and I just go for it a little bit more. I'm a little bit more determined and that's why he probably got a higher mark in the medium trot. It felt good, nice push. A little bit of a resistance on the half halt there. Now I'm just really thinking about riding the best trot possible. So I'm really engaging my core and trying to draw his withers towards my core. That's probably one of the best tips anyone's ever given me for riding a horse in balance. Good turns there, really like that. Nice trot. So I'm thinking about engaging my core now to go down into the halt. And yeah, really happy.